it's been about 100 days since we planted some potatoes in this planter here. And at the 100 day mark, we've got some of the plants themselves starting to die. That's telling us that it's time to dig up our potatoes. Step one is to dig them up out of this planter. Step two, we'll wash them here in the wheelbarrow. And then step three, we'll put them into the bucket. Hopefully we're gonna have so many potatoes that we need more than one bucket. We'll find out. Ultimately, uh, ultimately, I think we're a little bit underwhelmed with the results that we got. But the way these plants were growing, we thought we were going to have pounds, you know, buckets full of potatoes. And then we did get something. The purple potatoes seem to have held up a little bit better. But these little fingerling ones, I don't even know if that's a worthwhile potato. We got some, but we don't quite know what we did wrong. You know, we were expecting a lot more potatoes for the amount of plants that were growing. So if anybody knows, anybody's got expertise, can say, yeah, you need to keep them growing longer by watering, by overwatering them when they're in that strongest part of their growth phase. Well, that I mean that maybe that's the answer, or maybe just this type of potato doesn't do well in this type of soil. I don't know, but I think the bigger win was how many grubs we found. That's really good chicken food. So we're going to uh, keep our chickens happy and healthy. 
Uh, as for us, I don't know. We got a few dollars worth of artisanal potatoes. It wasn't terrible. We did, we did get some growth out of it, and it's pretty much all these purple ones. So we really hope that those taste good. I don't think we're going to get much more than some potato salad or some mashed potatoes out of these little tiny things. And a lot of them, they're just too beaten up to even be worth eating. Clearly, we're not the Irish, so a little bit of a loss for us. But that's all right. We're going to figure out something else to do with this planter, and then maybe if we do reattempt the potatoes later, we'll just use a different method of growing them. There's all kinds of different ways to grow potatoes. Uh, this one ended up not being the strongest, but there's it's always next season. So even though the potatoes were a little bit underwhelming, I think one of the bigger wins that we had here was from all the grubs that we found. Dozens and dozens of grubs. And these are gonna be great food for our chickens. So even though the potatoes were kind of an L, I think this very healthy population of grubs is gonna be very pleasing to the chickens. So a nice little treat for them while we're getting ready for them to start laying eggs pretty soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of our other gardening videos where we've had a lot more success than we did here with the potatoes. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.